The unit is obviously at this point depressurized. It's connected to no 120 volt mains. So the procedure is really easy. We're going to take off the high pressure clip, undo the tubing that feeds the membrane. I'll need a 13 millimeter and a 14 millimeter wrench or anything close. You can use the SAE sizes as well. And I'm just going to loosen up these stainless uh, clamps on top. And I don't need to take them all the way off. I can just loosen, I can take one end off and just loosen the other. I'll show you. And if I loosen this end just a little bit, this C-clamp will come right off. I'm going to take uh, a pair of pliers or channel locks and slowly just pull the cap off of the membrane housing, just like this. And a lot of water is going to come out, so be prepared. So I'm going to grab the outside of the core tube and pull this membrane straight out. We always want to change the membrane from the input side. It's a lot easier because it has to go in from the input side. So we might as well pull it out from that side as well. And we're going to do that right now. Give it a little tug. The brine seal is grabbing and then it comes right out. And here is a beautiful GXM 1000 high flow membrane. Now usually what I like to do, depending on how dirty my feed water is, I like to clean this membrane housing out. Um, if you're on really hard scaly water, you can actually feel some scale crystals in here. And so cleaning it out is a good idea, especially if there's any dirt or sludge in it. This is a brand new one, so I'm not going to go any further with it. Um, you, you don't really want to use an abrasive in here. You could use just a scrubby sponge uh, and then take a hose or uh, anything and just flush it out a little bit. To put a new membrane back in, we're going to do the same thing we did at the carbon filters and take a little bit of our silicone grease and put it around the outside of the brine seal. Just like that. And when you insert the membrane, uh, there's stickers on the membrane that show the flow direction, and it says flow direction on any of our GXM membranes. So the flow direction on a membrane is always away from the brine seal. The brine seal is the rubber seal on one end of the membrane, notice, not on both. Uh, and the flow direction is away from the brine seal. The flow direction is always from the input to the output. We also want to put a little bit of silicone grease on the end of the core tube. This core tube is going to seat inside the membrane housing cap and there are two o-rings in there so we want to put a little uh, silicone grease on there as well so we can see the arrows going that way here's the brine seal here's the membrane input it goes in like this you'll feel it seat in the membrane housing cap real simple then we take the cap we just pulled off Again, you can wipe it down if you want, if it's dirty. This one's brand new, so it's not dirty at all. And you want to make sure you put a little silicone grease on these O-rings as well. Make sure they're greased up. They might already be fine, uh, depending on how your feed water conditions are. But uh, a little bit of grease on the O-rings, a little in the O-rings in the center, a little on the core tube nipple. And then we simply put it back on the same way we took it off and just squeeze and it goes right on like that. Reassembling the clamps is, is as easy as it was when you took them off. I'll make it look difficult. And we have a bolt, a washer, and a lock nut. We'll position the clamp the way it was 
when you took it off, it doesn't really matter. Now, we don't want to over tighten these clamps, and I'm going to show you the proper tension right now. We want about an eighth of an inch of gap between the top clamp and the bottom, and the same on both sides. Don't clamp one down all the way and leave a half inch here. Just make sure you have about an eighth inch uh, between the top and the bottom clamp on both sides. And certainly don't wrench them down touching on both sides. It's not needed. Over tightening. And that's it. We just replaced a membrane on a GX1000.